everybody, welcome to the Friday edition of Warrior Daily. Joining me is Paul Winters, the head football coach here at Wayne State. And coach, a couple weeks ago, coming off of the uh, annual spring game, uh, I know it was a lot of fun. We had some, uh, some alums, a lot of the parents and fans came out as well. Uh, and afterwards, you had to uh, have a special ring ceremony to give the guys one last little prize for their uh, achievements last year. But uh, just tell me about the spring game and uh, some of the things you guys felt you were able to achieve. Well, I think it was a good spring. It was productive. Um, the spring game was fun. Our guys, I thought, were sharp. Um, it was probably one of the, the more well-executed spring games. And I think a lot of that has to do with Mickey um, being a fourth-year starter and um, really being on top of the offense, and I thought he did a fantastic job. So offensively, I thought we did some really good things. You know, we've lost some important people, but James Jackson stood out, um, played really well. Uh, Steve Conway made a couple really big catches for us. Um, we, we just, we, we produced very well, I thought, offensively. From a defensive standpoint, we had Nick Thomas back, and, uh, you know, he's a great player, and having him back make, is a huge difference for us. So. Um, defensively, I thought we got things done. Obviously, with a new defensive coordinator, um, there's some communication issues that you have to get ironed out, and I thought we did that. So it was a good spring. Yeah, certainly. You mentioned uh, a couple of uh, stories and things to, to follow as we as we get into the fall. Uh, but, but probably the biggest thing, and, and people, and I'm sure, noticed it watching the spring game, is the juniors from last year, now seniors, their first opportunity to really – uh, showcase themselves as the senior classes, the top uh, upperclassmen with this program. Not to mention uh, the freshmen who uh, redshirted last year now getting a chance to uh, show what they can do. Yeah, I think the big story is the redshirt freshmen because those guys have been scout team players for a year and this is their chance to shine in the offense and the defense. And I thought we, we had some standouts. Uh, Zach Balecki as a safety, you know, with Jeremy Jones leaving and Ken Loney leaving, um, that's a big position for us. And I thought that Zach Balecki and Mike Sawchuk both stood out. Actually, if you look at all four redshirt freshman defensive backs, um, Jamil Williams was outstanding, Brandon McKay was outstanding. So those four guys will all contribute. They're all really good football players. We're very fortunate to have them. Um, Mike Smith is a linebacker. You know, he's, he's stacked behind some good players, but I thought he did a nice job for us. Um, Ryan Hankins as a defensive tackle is a guy who is going to be important important for us next year. So defensively, we have quite a few guys that I think um, had to step up. Nate Deeker is an offensive tackle, um, big, strong, 305 or 305, 310 pound, six foot five tackle is 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 important to have and and, and very exciting. Um, so you know, just a lot of guys that that really stepped up. And Christian Burks is another one as a running back who's an explosive character. So we're really excited about those young guys. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch those guys develop over the next couple of years and, and contribute to uh, what has already become a successful program. That success, again, was celebrated after the spring game with the uh, ring ceremony. The guys uh, got a nice piece to take with them, really, uh, for the rest of their lives. That's something that, uh, that they'll remember. But I know for you, uh, you, know, you, kind of, you treat it as, as, a, as another way to celebrate what you achieved in 2011, but I know for you, uh, you're excited to look forward and, and see see what's ahead this fall, and maybe you guys can repeat or exceed that uh, achievement. You know, it's funny. Uh, you, you're always excited about the, the past, and, and the ring ceremony was outstanding. Um, a lot of the seniors that you haven't seen for a while came back, so that was good. Um, but you're right. We're, we're looking forward to 2012. I think that people will, will look at us and, and with the losses that we have and say we're not very good. But we've got good football players returning, and, and we can't wait to get started. Well, you will get started uh, with your uh, su late summer to early fall practices uh, in August. And just tell me a little bit what, what the first couple of days or camp are like. And you guys are finally back out there on the field uh, as a team, as a collective unit. And just tell me a little bit about what it's like finally getting started again. You know, it's an exciting time because we have 31 freshmen coming in. And uh, it's a good class. And just to get those guys out on the field, that's really the, the initial excitement. But then to take the, the guys from the spring and, and kind of look at, at how they've progressed through the summer, because we really won't get a chance to coach them or, or watch them during the summer. So when we get them back and get a chance to evaluate how much we've grown from this point on, um, it's the entire process is really, it's why we do it. It's, it's the fun part.
All right, Coach. Well, certainly uh, September will be here before we know it, and uh, we'll be back to thinking about the 2012 football season. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great fun. All right. That's head coach Paul Winters here on this Friday edition of Warrior Daily. Have a great weekend.